Good morning. We are picking Marky up from the train station. I think that's him right there. Yes, it is. Look at that long flowy hair. Hi. <laughs> On today's docket, I've got to get this air conditioner out of this window because it is letting in quite a lot of cold air. So this is a gigantic air conditioner that kind of sits in one of those cages. So I got Mark here and he's going to be my muscle to help me carry it to the garage, but we got to, we got to rearrange. the top part off. Now we have to disconnect the wiring. Make sure whenever you're doing this that you're completely unplugged. Disconnect this little panel. We got to take off these two little screws right here. Then this whole box just unclips from down here. All right, now this part is off. We can wash it. Get it ready for next year. Whoops, that wasn't supposed to happen. <laughs> Holy shit. Oh my God, that's one way to get it out. Holy cow, I should have waited for Mark's help. Um, definitely don't do this by yourself. And definitely like, I'm glad there was, I'm not like on a second story cause that could have been terrible. It only fell like three feet. Oh my God, that was really funny. Well, that was really funny for me because this is my house and I'm like literally three feet off the ground. That could have been really dangerous if I was any higher. So definitely don't take any advice from me on how to take out a window unit air conditioner. Um, it, it, the conditioner looks like it's fine. Nobody got hurt. Mission accomplished. Now I just gotta clean up this window. And we'll be able to keep some more heat in here. All right, I have to clean up all of these daisies. Now, typically you cut them back to like two to four inches above the root base. Um, so I'm just gonna clean all this up, it's looking crazy. These are snapdragons. Like, look at bunch a little clump is growing. I'm just gonna leave them. If they bud, the birds can the birds can eat them, but I'm just gonna leave them. Alright, these are gladiolus. Typically they don't overwinter very well, but these are from I think three winters ago. So this right here, the yellow part, is the original corm. And then these are, it's split, so there's two new bulbs. Now, what you do is you take these, if you are gonna dig them up to replant them, you just take them out of the ground, cut them down to about, so it has like a good three or four inch stem. Let these dry out, because you want all the energy from this stem to go back into your new corm. Let them dry out, then you can split them, you can take the old corm off, and then you have two new plants from your one little little corm. There's a couple I just left in the ground because they did come back this year, but we'll dry this one out and we can replant this in the spring. These are stargazer lilies. These are perennials. This, the bulb will stay in the ground because it's a perennial bulb and the stems that the flowers grow on will literally just kind of pull right out. You're not going to damage the bulb at all by pulling these off. You don't need to cut them down. You can just kind of pull them out. 
All right, let's talk about using leaves as mulch. It's not the prettiest thing. You know, a lot of people tend to go in and clean up all the leaves out and then maybe put fresh mulch on top. I like leaving the leaves because this provides a really super nutrient boost to the soil. It also acts as an insulator for the perennials that I have in here. So I'll clean this up, you know, a little bit, kind of tidy it up, make sure all the leaves are actually on the soil itself, brush off all the rocks. But I really like using uh, leaves itself as um, kind of like a compost because all of those nutrients are going to break down and go back into this soil. Now we have our pile of dead stuff. And this is a bud from a Shasta daisy. Now these are all seeds. Those are all daisy seeds. So you can collect the heads of all of your dried daisies and all of these will become new little flowers. Since this is in the front of my house, this is why I've kind of cleaned all this up. But if this is in like a back part of your house, we're not worried about it looking a little scraggly. These are great just to leave out for foraging for the birds. A lot of the times I'll just leave leave things out so the birds have a little bit of food over the winter. Um, but if it's in the front and looks a little scraggly, you can clean them up. I just took a shower. If you guys have like kind of coarse, kinky, curly hair and you get a lot of tangles in it, this stuff, it's a 10. It's literally the best leave-in conditioner I have found. It really does help detangle your hair. Huh, there's literally no better feeling than like brushing through your hair when there are no more tangles. It's literally the best feeling in the world. I'm gonna make some yummy food and then I think I'm gonna watch a Christmas movie because I kind of want to get into the spirit of the holidays. I do have the tree up over here as you can see um, but I think I might light a little candle dim the lights a little bit and watch a Christmas movie. There's a Lindsay Lohan Christmas movie that's kind of like circling around on the TV. So maybe we'll watch that one. I don't know, but it's definitely a cozy night in for me. So let's get to cooking some dinner. So I just cut up some cauliflower. We're gonna put that in this pan. You guys remember this pan from last year when we made caramels? <laughs> so we're just gonna do some cauliflower and some green beans added some rice and call it a day. Lucy and Jackson love green beans and cauliflower. There's one for Jackson. And here's one for Lucy. <laughs> you like it, buddy. I think Lucy's favorite is cauliflower, though. Seasoning this citrusy garlic from Trader Joe's is so delicious. I love it. Okay, it's gonna be citrusy and garlicky. We're also gonna add in a little onion powder and then adobo. And there's enough salt in this adobo that I'm not gonna add any extra salt. Um, the adobo has enough salt in it, but I am gonna add some pepper. I know it's kind of cheating, but I have these seeds of change, like quinoa and brown rice packets. It's so easy. It takes like, I usually heat them up in the microwave for 90 seconds and then just add them into whatever vegetable medley I'm cooking. And it really like expands my meal prep for the next couple days. I am a scoop of sour cream to make it a little bit more of a creamier 
base just to add a little bit more of that flavor. I feel like the sour cream helps like suspend the flavors throughout the dish a little bit more. Falling for Christmas with Lindsay Lohan. So exciting. Are you, whoa, 